I'm Shay Russell for Mining.com.au and joining me today is the Executive Chair of Terra Uranium, Andrew Viger. Andrew, good to see you again, mate. Yeah, it seems to only been a week or so since we last chatted. In fact, it was only a week ago. It was at Noosa. It was only a week ago. And in fact, uh, despite the fact that I've flown 2,000 kilometres south, it's still the same temperature that it was in Noosa. <laughs> and not nearly as sunny, I suspect. <laughs> no, no, definitely. Only, only, nothing but grey skies down here. Now... I don't want to talk about the weather because I've seen your results that have come out on Monday, the 29th of July. Uh, holy kapow, Batman. This was completely unexpected. Uh, talk me through about what's happened at Aimer Lake. Yeah, we've been waiting for the results to come in. Um, the lab had flagged that we had some pretty high uh, uranium samples going through the system. They fa flagged that for, secure, for um, safety reasons, of course, uh, but they only just came out uh, much better than we were expecting. So not only did we get some good grades, 0.18% uh, uh, near our main zone, I should point out not on the main zone itself, but in the main zone area, the main zone doesn't outcrop. Uh, but on our second prospect, which is about eight kilometers to the east, uh, we got the highest result of all, which was 0.94% U308, which is just under 1%. Remembering that this is currently a bulk low grade resource, and it, it's our view, uh, it has, it's a sandstone hosted deposit, which has similarities to some other very large deposits, different to most of the ones in, North, in uh, Canada, that we felt there, were, there should be higher grade areas in it, uh, and it should also have extensions. So we've hit both of those in one go, which is why we call it a stunning result, which I think it is. We're pretty excited. It certainly is. And I just want to bring you back to something you said in your answer. One of the high grade results that you announced today is actually outside the known resource. Yeah. It's in your tenement, but it's yeah. outside the known resource. Yeah. So this isn't, um, this basically emphasizes that you were suspected there'd be extensions of this, but this mm. pretty much says that you guys were right. Yeah. Well, we, we were hoping that we would, you know, not only get the high, some high grade, uh, some high grade areas, because that was indicated in the old data. Um, as I said, there, there were a lot of high-grade intercepts, but that we would get a major extension. So that was the that was the sort of unexpected one. We weren't expecting to get such a good result at Horned Lake. Um, as I say, about eight k's to the east. Uh, there's no, there's no resource estimates on Horned Lake at all, uh, and it will uh, be hitting that area. Now that we've had these good results, we'll we'll uh, change our approach a little. Uh, we'll definitely be um, doing a program in here as soon as we can to not only look for that high grade but but these extensions so we'll, we'll i think we'll end up not only growing the resource but also improving the grade so which is pretty hard to do it, it's extremely hard to do but it looks like you're going to go do it tell me <laughs> when does this change of approach start i mean obviously we're in the summer season now for canadian exploration we are. but there is a winter season afoot what does this exploration program look like for the next six months? We're just closing this deal, so we hope to close it in the next week or two. Um, the, a large part of that was this fuel program that we had to do to keep the, the tenements in compliance. Uh, now that that's done, we'll look at closing that and we'll get on the ground as soon as we can. Uh, I must admit these results have uh, changed our approach a little bit. So we're going back to square one. We'll reevaluate it. We'll look, uh, discuss it with our team in Canada. Uh, but uh, we'll be on that ground there as, as quickly as we can. We, it'll be initially surface work, uh, possibly some geophysics. There was some very high magnetite associated with some of these results, which means we might be able to use a simple and cheap method. Uh, but we'll also be doing uh, just scintillometer surveys and possibly soil surveys. So we're considering that as well, uh, just to pat, uh, pin down where these um, high grade zones outcrop. Andrew, does stunning results like this mean that I'm going to see more of you over the coming weeks? <laughs> I think we'll be out and talking to people a lot and we'll certainly <laughs> be doing the circuit, Jay, so I'm sure we'll see you. Awesome. Listen, uh, congratulations on today's announcement. Uh, I love to see that your due diligence on this project has paid off in the kind of results that you've announced to the market. Uh, listen, congratulations and uh, keep me posted on what's going on in AMLA. Yeah, this is always the fun part. Thanks, Jay.